Hello, prospective students and friends. I'm Dr. Song Gang, the Associate Dean for Undergraduate Affairs in the Arts Faculty. And uh, today I'm going to give you a very brief introduction of our faculty, uh, information about our admissions, and also some exciting learning opportunities for our arts students. Many of you know that uh, our faculty is one of the oldest and the largest faculties in the university with over 100 years of history in uh, excellence, uh, in research, uh, teaching, and uh, community service. And uh, we have an enviable reputation as one of the leading uh, academic enterprise in Asia and uh, worldwide. And uh, from this uh, Times Higher Education World University ranking, you can see that uh, the university is ranked uh, number one in international outlook of the top 100 universities worldwide. And our faculty is ranked the first one and also the 29th one in Hong Kong and in the world, respectively, in arts and humanities of top 400 universities worldwide. And in another uh, university ranking, QS World University ranking, our faculty is ranked 16th in arts and humanities subject. And also, some of our programs are ranked among the top 50 uh, in uh, linguistics, uh, in modern languages, and in English language and uh, literature. Uh, so you can see that uh, we really have an outstanding uh, academic credential uh, across uh, different uh, disciplines. And uh, our faculty uh, represents the most internationalized staff composition in the university. Our teachers uh, you know, teach a variety of uh, uh, courses, and they are highly uh, qualified and uh, energetic in offering different uh, you know, subjects. And uh, uh, over 70% of our staff are uh, from outside Hong Kong and uh, China. And uh, our faculty is located uh, at uh, this uh, beautiful building, building uh, Raren Shaw Tower, and adjacent to the Chihua Learning Commons, and uh, for students' you know, favorite place for their self-studies. Uh, we also offer excellent support facilities, uh, including uh, different labs, you know, uh, collections, uh, music rooms, uh, black box uh, theater, and the gallery, etc. So students can obtain uh, advanced uh, learning experience and also enjoy a dynamic cultural environment during their studies. So now I talk a little bit about our undergraduate studies. Um, there are uh, different types of uh, FIFD uh, places uh, in admissions. Uh, actually, we uh, are going to offer 347 places for the BA four-year study uh, program. And uh, we are going to offer 24 places for this new uh, BASC uh, four-year study program. There are also three existing double degree programs. Uh, all programs are four year uh, five year study, and also um, uh, including this uh, 23 places for BA, BA in Chinese uh, language education, and uh, uh, 26 places uh, for BA, BA in English language education, and also 20 places for BA, LB. Um, so for the BA curriculum, uh, we really offer a diversity of choices with a total of uh, uh, 23 majors and 30 minors. And students really can uh, have this uh, flexible study scheme. You know, for uh, year one, they can explore as many as possible their own uh, interests. And uh, for year two or above, they can declare one arts major, and meanwhile, they can also study additional uh, major 
or miners. And in the past few years, we put much emphasis on uh, capstone experiences, uh, focusing on experiential learning and also interdependent research skills. And uh, this is our BA uh, curriculum structure, uh, a total of 240 credits, uh, including 54 credits at the uh, university level, you know, including English, Chinese, and common core courses, and also 72 credits uh, for one arts major. For the remaining credits, the students can take uh, either arts or non-arts uh, courses as elective course, uh, courses and also they can um, you know, uh, use these credits to declare additional major, uh, meaning double major, or they can declare uh, another minor or maybe two minors even. And uh, this chart shows you uh, the, all these uh, BA majors and uh, minors. Uh, they are divided by uh, the f uh, four schools in our faculty, School of Chinese, School of English, uh, School of Humanities, and School of Modern Languages and Cultures. And you can easily find uh, more detailed information in our faculty's uh, brochure. And now I'm talking about this admissions to uh, BA. Uh, there are major uh, application schemes uh, in our faculty, uh, the DUPAS uh, for uh, HK uh, DSC applicants and uh, for uh, non DUPAS uh, for these uh, international uh, qualifications and also this uh, mainland admission scheme uh, for uh, students who take uh, NJCEE or Gaokao exams and uh, lastly uh, there are uh, associate degree or higher diploma uh, graduates uh, for this uh, direct, uh, direct admissions uh, scheme. Okay, and uh, our faculty uh, has this uh, minimum entrance requirements, uh, which are the same as the university's uh, basic requirements for admissions. So three three two two three. So uh, I think many of you already know that. And uh, this one uh, is this uh, new scoring system for uh, DUPAS applications. Um, if you achieve uh, the score of uh, uh, five or above in one eligible uh, subject test, uh, you are going to get uh, uh, zero, uh, 0 0.5 or one point or 1.5 respectively as a bonus. Uh, in your application. So uh, with this uh, uh, new uh, bonus point system, so uh, in the year of 2019, we have this uh, BA admission scores. Uh, in this chart for uh, DUPAS applicants, you can see uh, the uh, upper quadrant score is uh, 28, and medium score is 26, uh, lower Quadra uh, score is 26 and lowest score is 24.5. And uh, some tips uh, for BA uh, selection of DUPAS applications. So we consider only the band A applicants. And uh, our consideration is primarily based uh, on HK DSC results. And there is no interview. You know, all uh, candidates are considered on the same basis. Um, so we consider the uh, best of five subjects test results, uh, including English language and uh, any other uh, best of four uh, subjects. So there's also the six best subject test result will be given uh, a bonus. In addition, this uh, M1, M2 uh, will not uh, be uh, count counted. And uh, since uh, there are many uh, applicants who have the same uh, total scores of HKDIZ results, uh, we also use these uh, tiebreakers, including uh, English, Chinese, uh, liberal studies, and school principals uh, nomination to rank uh, these uh, applicants. And uh, lastly, uh, we don't have any penalty for repeaters. 
Uh, namely, actually we can consider uh, the best results in the same uh, subject in two or more settings of uh, HKDNC. And for uh, non jupus applications, uh, including these uh, students uh, with uh, international qualifications or applicants uh, with uh, you know, sub-degrees, um, we have also requirements uh, for BA admissions, uh, including competitive uh, admission standards, and also uh, program-specific requirements. For example, the music department has some specific requirements uh, in admission procedure. And also, we really uh, stress these uh, English language requirements uh, for non jupas applications, uh, as well as uh, second language requirements. You can just uh, check uh, the website for uh, detailed information. Yeah. Mm. In addition to uh, the previous uh, major admission schemes, uh, in recent years, we also uh, introduced uh, some uh, dual degree uh, programs, and uh, uh, mainly two of them. And uh, the first one is the HKU uh, Science Po dual degree program uh, since 2016. You know, students, they can study at Science Po for the first two years and then at HKU for the next two years. So uh, students can uh, get uh, two bachelor degrees uh, in two leading universities in Asia and uh, Europe. And also, uh, since last year, uh, we uh, introduced this uh, HKU and uh, UC Berkeley dual degree program. And uh, students can study at uh, HKU for the first two years, and then uh, at uh, UC Berkeley for the next two years. Again, they can get uh, two bachelor degrees into uh, highly ranked universities in Asia and uh, uh, North America. So uh, students can uh, have this uh, international cohort uh, to, uh, in their learning. And uh, you know, this kind of experience really can enhance their career prospects. And now, uh, I would uh, talk more about uh, uh, some exciting learning opportunities uh, for our art students. Um, we're really committed to uh, teaching and uh, uh, learning excellency. So uh, uh, some of our uh, colleagues uh, in the School of uh, Humanities, they recently offered this uh, new uh, MOOC course uh, on Hong Kong film. Uh, featuring interdisciplinary research in film, literature, history, and the cultural studies. And students can develop global and local perspectives, as well as uh, critical thinking skills. And uh, our art students also can uh, participate in the uh, university level exchange uh, opportunities and uh, to gain you know, global and uh, mainland China experience, uh, very exciting experiences. And our students have studied at uh, uh, top institutions. Uh, here I just uh, show you a few of them. You can see Yale University, Cambridge, uh, University of Tokyo, and Sciences Po, National University of Singapore, etc. And uh, our faculty provide uh, many uh, scholarships uh, for students to go abroad and uh, we also help them to transfer their uh, credits uh, back to HKU uh, for the credits that they earn from a, a host institution. Uh, on top of that, we also offer this uh, global exploration fund for every arts student you know, uh, with a maximum of 20,000 Hong Kong dollars for each student to uh, you know, go uh, to mainland China or to go overseas for a short uh, study trip, uh, for an uh, exchange program, or for an uh, internship. And uh, our faculty also provide uh, many exciting uh, experiential learning opportunities for students. Uh, here are just uh, a few examples. You know, students can uh, go for this uh, young leader tour of Japan organized by the Department of uh, Japanese. Or they can uh, go to 
Africa, you know, to this country, Ethiopia, uh, for a field trip organized by linguistic departments and African study program. And uh, for school Chinese, there are opportunities for uh, a few trips to uh, mainland China, you know, cultural sites, including uh, Dunhuang, uh, Yunnan, or Tibet. And uh, our faculty uh, organizes and uh, sponsors uh, many international conferences every year. So students uh, can feel free to participate in these uh, uh, international events. Uh, they can attend uh, lectures uh, given by distinguished writers and scholars. And uh, also, we have uh, many, many uh, arts and humanities events you know, every year uh, in uh, fine arts, uh, music, you know, museum studies, exhibitions, public lectures, uh, etc. So our teaching uh, really represents uh, knowledge, enthusiasm, and engagement that foster students' uh, intellectual curiosity, articulation, and communication skills. You know, we take a great efforts to train our students' uh, entrepreneurial spirit in the arts and humanities. We also uh, guide our students to cherish the value of an arts education to the workplace. Um, so our excellence in uh, teaching and research has harvested a large number of distinguished alumni. So here I just uh, show some of them to you, uh, including some uh, officials in the government, uh, directors in big companies, you know, film directors, uh, uh, writers, uh, managers, uh, uh, no lyrics. Following the footsteps of our distinguished alumni, our arts graduates also march towards success on their own career path. Um, according to this 2018 statistics, 60% uh, of our arts graduates go to this uh, commerce and the industry sector. And 15% uh, of them go to community, social, and uh, personal services. And 14% of them go to uh, education institutions. And 11% of them go to civil service. And uh, our students uh, become you know, capable um, managers and social workers teachers, reporters, editors, managers, etc. You know, they uh, really achieve a lot and their achievements um, uh, demonstrate how deeply uh, we are committed to teaching and learning in arts and humanities subjects. And uh, we provide a solid intellectual foundation that uh, enable our students to uh, gain various skills and maximize the potentials in their future career. I think you find some interesting information uh, already in such a short uh, introduction. And uh, we wholeheartedly welcome you to apply for our BA program. Um, and uh, we can assure you that uh, you can have very exciting you know, learning opportunities for you to explore, to experience, and to accomplish. If you have any inquiries, uh, please just uh, visit our website, uh, follow us on the Facebook, uh, you know, contact us via email, or just visit us in person. Thank you.